But speaking of violin, because I feel like we haven't talked about uh, violin except for you know your bow and the way you the way you hold your bow. But can you talk about the instrument that you play on? Because we haven't really talked about that yet. Yeah, sure. So I'm very fortunate here to have a relatively old instrument. Uh, it was built in 1820 by a French maker called Nick. Uh, sorry, I was going to say uh, Nicholas Viome. It's a uh, John Baptiste Viome. I have to look in the label for John Baptiste Viome. Yeah. John Baptiste Viome. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, Don't worry, we'll, yeah, we'll, the gorgeous. listeners and I will forgive you. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so it has a one piece back. Uh, Tiger stripes. It really uh, just gleams in in the light. Uh, Has a nice front. brownish varnish to it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it has a very um, how can I say sweet and sort of no string is dominant over another in, in a good way. It, like really provides like across the spectrum this really uh, nice roundness uh, to the sound. And, and I've been playing this for about. Mm, I would say almost 10 years now. I was very lucky to find uh, uh, someone who owned this instrument who wanted it to be played. And I uh, continue just developing a, a relationship with it. Uh, it is, uh, as you sort of mentioned again, sort of this sacred sort of relationship that you have uh, that you want to be able to translate in a way that um, does some good in the world. So beautiful instrument, uh, beautiful music, and of course the human sort of interacts uh, in between. And yeah, I'm just lucky every single day to open the case and, and see a work of art uh, like this in front of me to motivate myself to play great music. 